Here's a team that's really in the playoffs with the rain. So uh, I know a few of people might be waiting for this part of the episode anyway mm-hmm. for a giveaway. So we'll, we'll get on with it. Uh, so the rain finally know who they're going to play this upcoming week in the semifinal of the end of NWSL playoffs. Um, the rain will be facing off against the Kansas City current uh, October 23rd versus the current is a 430 p.m. kickoff time at Lumen Field. Uh, Kansas City teams in the rain have history. Kansas City, uh, it was, I believe it was FC Kansas City before. It's, it was a div- different iteration uh, of Kansas City. Beat the Reign the only two times the Reign have been in the NWSL title match. Uh, so the playoff history isn't good against the Reign, uh, against Kansas City. Uh, this year, both teams have a win against each other. Uh, both of those, one win against Kansas City was here, and then the loss against Kansas City was on the road. So it's it's pretty even matchup, I'd say. And it should be a good one, but uh, we'll we'll get to the team news here before I talk about the tickets. I know that might be dragging things along, but we have some team news. On the 14th, three rain players were named to the NWSL Best 11 for the months of September slash October. Um, Alana Cook, the defender, uh, appeared in every minute of play for the rain in September and October's regular season contests. Her stout defense helped the team to its third NWSL Shield in club history and the first since 2015. She helped the rain earn three clean sheets in this span, including two of those on the road. Since acquiring Cook last year, she's just been a lights out center back and is one of the rocks on this rain defense. One of the better reasons why this rain defense is one of the best in the league. Um, Rose Lavelle was the second player on that list. Lavelle was hugely productive in the Rain midfield and tallied back-to-back games in September to help extend the team's unbeaten streak uh, to seven games. The midfielder was tied for seventh in total shots across the league in this span, so peppering the defense here in shots. And then Pino. I mean, it feels like we've been talking about Pino every week. Uh, <laughs> Last month's player of the month, Rapino picked up right where she left off, scoring three game-winning goals and registering 14 shots to lead the reign to the NWSL sheet in a first-round bye in the 2022 playoffs. So, And it's crazy to think that all three of those players that were named to the best 11 are all on the women's national team uh, for the U.S. as well. You want to watch world-class talent, you got to go to these reign games. I'm not messing with you. I'm not saying that just to say it. It's all true. Um as well as four members of the reign were nominated uh, for league awards. Uh, voting is currently taking place. Some of that is taken from the fans. Most of it's taken from players uh, and coaches, and then some of it from the media as well. So for Defender of the Year, two reign players were nominated for that, in Alana Cook and Sofia Huerta. Uh, goalkeeper of the Year in Fallon Tullis Joyce, which I I would support that fully. Yeah. Uh and not only because she followed us on Twitter yesterday, but uh, Coach of the Year, Laura Harvey as well, which that would make a lot of sense. I just think um, uh, I think maybe with some of the success that San Diego has seen um, that maybe she might not win that. So we'll see. But I would, if it was up to me, I would say yes. Um, and winning the individual title, I'm sure would help that out as well. Uh, so the rain will face the current in the semifinal game. If they win this match on the 23rd, the rain will advance to, I believe their third end of cell title appearance. Um, having lost the first two, as I mentioned to Kansas city before a different iteration of the club. Uh, this is a big deal. You know, we talk about a lot of our teams in Seattle being in the playoffs recently or currently the Mariners season just ended. They ended in the playoffs. Uh, the storm were in the playoffs. The Seawolves took it to the title match. So, We've been lucky. We've had some solid success here recently. Um, but this is a big deal. You know, you want to talk about supporting women's sports, supporting soccer in this city, just supporting your Seattle teams. You have to be there on the 23rd. Now, you can do that without having to pay um, if you want our giveaway. Now, I admit, you know, I could make this more complicated, but I feel like less complicated is better. So in order to do this, 
all you have to the two tickets to the rain game section 126 so you're you're and you're relatively close to the field as well i didn't i tried not to skimp on these uh but you're right behind one of the nets i believe fallon will be in it for the second half of the match so if you want to watch fallon up close you know this is another reason uh so two tickets to the rain game on the 23rd at lumen field uh 4 30 p.m pacific time two tickets to the rain uh all you have to do is be following us at least one of our platforms, whether it's I'll run the little banner across the screen on the bottom here so it's easier to get that in writing. Um, whether that's Instagram at Circling Seattle Sports, Twitter at Circling Sports, Facebook, Circling Seattle Sports, or on our YouTube, which you just put Circling Seattle Sports in there. It's going to be linked in the description of this video as well. That'll count. If you are following us on multiple of these, then it's an additional entry uh, to be able to win one of these things. Now, I'm just trying to get people out to this game. You know, I was like, shoot, I meant to do this earlier anyway. But it's always great to see the different times that people come to these rain games and they're like, wow, I got to come to more of these. You know, so I will include some videos on the screen of where these tickets are. The section here, there's uh, where it is on location to the rest of the stadium. That's kind of the view. That's the best view I could get uh, of where they will be. But just on the screen there, so you can keep that up. Um, October 23rd, Lumen Field, 4.30 p.m. Pacific time. This is a big match. This is playoffs. If you say you rep the city, if you say you like to see the success, I mean, this is a club that's been in the playoffs the past two years. They've taken it to the semifinals the last two years. They're the top of the league table, and they have, I would say, a pretty solid chance to win the whole damn thing. So um, two of these tickets, I'll announce this on Thursday at 5 o'clock. I was trying to figure out when a good time to be announced this with just so people could like plan if they did win, right? Plan out their weekend. Um, I'll post this on social media as well. So those who aren't watching the full clip or the range segment will be able to see that. But I wanted to get these out regardless. You know, I wanted to make this right because I was able, uh, we had some difficulties with the last time we said we were going to do this. So um, that's been on the screen. If you need to screenshot that, whatever, write it down. We'll have it on social media as well. But really all, it's as simple as following us on social media. Uh, That's really all it's going to take. So Thursday, the 20th at 5 p.m., we'll find out who those two tickets will go to, and we'll see you at the raid match on the 23rd. So we now will finish up with some league-related news here. Unfortunate. I know we talked about some of it last week. Um, But more news as uh, sort of scandals, investigations continue throughout the league. On the 10th, the NWSL terminated the contracts of uh, North Carolina Pride. uh, Yes. Uh, head coach Amanda Cromwell and assistant Sam Green after a joint investigation into their conduct uh, took place. And then on the 11th, Merritt Paulson, a big figurehead in these investigations around the league about abuse and scandals. Uh, the owner of the Portland Thorns in the NWSL and the Portland Timbers in the MLS has stepped down as CEO of both of these clubs. So he's been a big figurehead in hiding what Paul Riley did. He's just been an overall bad guy. So it's good to see that he's been taken out of his, he's stepped out of his roles, but I would like to see further action take place against Paulson as well as anybody else that was involved in any of these things. So it's just, again, really unfortunate to have these things happen in this league and to such great players, just great women, just great people. uh, And just hoping that continued justice can be brought uh, not only to the women that are involved, but anybody else in the organizations that had to bear witness or be involved in these sort of things. So um, <clears throat> a lot of talking, a lot of smoke that took place over the weekend. Um, we look, we finally have a date. We're not just kind of sitting and doodling our thumbs anymore. The rain will take the take on the Kansas City Current at Lumen Field, October 23rd, 4.30 p.m. Pacific time. The rain finished the year with an 11 win, four loss, seven draw record. First in the NWSL, winning the NWSL Shield. If they win... They're off to Washington, D.C. to play the title game against either Portland or San Diego. But you got to take care of Kansas City first. So that'll be a big one. Uh, and we will have uh, this giveaway. Uh, we'll have a post about it on social media as well in case you missed that.